So in the past, I made a couple of videos hinting at the problems I have with the modern school system. Problems that include how it can suck the imagination out of you, or how everyone in the classroom is taught the same way, and is expected to be a disciplined robot. However, something I came to realize recently is, there are also a ton of positive aspects about school that many of us take for granted. For instance, school is a great excuse and a wonderful opportunity to make friends. Another benefit is, you're more likely than not to find a new skill that generates a creative spark in you. Even if it was true that only 5-10% to of what you learn matters, being lucky enough to find your passion makes it worth it in the end in my opinion. In this episode of Avatar The Last Airbender, Aang appreciates the benefits of what school has to offer, but he also stands up against its unfair guidelines. This episode is titled, The Headband, and it's one of my favorites in the series. When I first watched it, I didn't expect much to come out of it. I figured it was just a filler episode with little to no significance to the plot. Little did I know at the time, this episode is so much more than that. The story goes as follows. Aang disguises himself in a Fire Nation costume, hoping people won't recognize who he truly is. He accidentally discovers a Fire Nation school and is pretty much forced to participate. So to make the most out of his time, he uses it as a golden opportunity to learn more about the culture and its history. I'm having fun for once, just being a normal kid. You don't know what it's like, Sokka. You get to be normal all the time. <laughs> Considering Aang is the Avatar, a superhero, celebrity-like figure, if you will, he never gets to experience what it's like to live a normal life. So when he gets the opportunity to do just that in this episode, he's noticeably more enthusiastic about it than the average student. It doesn't take long for him to notice he's the most animated in the room. Everyone else is emotionless and lacks creative energy. In fact, the concept of expressing yourself is unheard of at this school. Forbidden even. For example, dancing in your seat during band practice isn't allowed at the school because according to the teacher it signifies one has no self-discipline or order. But what about expressing yourself? That's the question I asked myself when I was in school. And yes, I know it varies. Some give you more freedom than others, but in general, you can only follow worksheets, specific essay formats, and live by somebody else's rules for so long before things begin to feel bland and bleak. During a passing period, the kids gossip about Aang's unusual and bizarre dance movements. It's definitely something they're not used to. Their shocked expressions further imply that creativity, uniqueness, and having fun is strictly prohibited at their school. I enjoy this sequence where Aang dodges multiple punch attempts by this bully who got a little too upset that his girlfriend was flirting with somebody other than him. That's another thing about expressing yourself. It helps you stand out, and it can help you manifest the girl or guy of your dreams. Aang makes the bully look like an amateur, but is unfortunately blamed for the fight. Don't you just hate it when that happens? When you did literally nothing? But somehow, some way, it's still your fault? I know I do. At a parent-teacher conference, the principal informs Aang that if he acts up one more time, he'll be sent to reform school. Obviously, Aang doesn't give a damn because he's not taking any of this seriously anyway. Respectfully, he doesn't surrender to their strict policies, and instead proposes a plan to awaken the students' imaginations. He hosts a secret dance party, hoping it will help show the kids that it's okay to loosen up, that it's okay to have fun every once in a while, that they don't have to be a bunch of disciplined robots because that's what's expected of them. When all of the kids get there, they're confused about what to do. They're not used to parties, they're not used to dancing, they're not even used to experiencing something exciting or interesting. But it's not about what you're supposed to do, it's about what you would do if you knew nobody could judge you. Thinking like that puts you in the right direction at these kinds of events. Even dancing as an art can be misconceptualized. It's easy to take it seriously. Like it's something that must be perfected, done properly, or else you're not doing it right. Thankfully, Aang makes sure to put this misconception to rest. Dancing isn't something you think about. It's a form of self-expression that no one can ever take away from you. 
DSing is just a sequence of movements. That's all it really is. There is no right or wrong way to do it. Just by allowing your body to move the way it wants to already makes you a dancer. It's a wonderful excuse to give your body time to be free after being stuck behind a desk for six hours or so. After some direction, Aang manages to give the kids enough encouragement to dance however they please. It doesn't take long until everyone in the cave is moving freely and expressing themselves. So in conclusion, expressing yourself is giving yourself permission to be a little weird, to be different than what society expects you to be. It's even more effective when you have the swagger Aang does and you just don't give a damn about what anyone thinks. Life is too short to hide in the shadows, but at the same time, this is more important than just you. By showing others that it's awesome to express yourself, it creates a chain reaction and helps many others. Like Aang, people will see you as a hero. Contrary to the opening, when the world needed him the most, he didn't vanish. He shared his light. What will you do?